Warning, the following story contains scenes of pain and uncomfortableness. Viewer distraction is advised. Are you feeling tapped out at work? Maybe you're trapped in your career. Has your job become a real pain? Maybe you should consider becoming a sideshow stuntman like Nanaimo's Tarquin Caius. I've been told that I have a high pain tolerance. Personally, I don't believe it because I do feel pain. Um, it's a matter of mind over matter. Tarquin made his mind up at a young age that he had a taste for a different kind of career. There's always a youthful interest in, you know, of course, blowing things up, lighting things on fire as a boy. And uh, I just happened to think one year, well, what if I lit myself on fire? Wouldn't that be cool? It's a very visceral, very unique form of entertainment. It's basically taking the human body and showing what can uh, and perhaps should not be done with it. So this is a set trap. The idea is that the coyote puts their paw right there, those slam shut with 200 pounds per square inch, out of all of the mundane things that we experience. We haven't been so desensitized to everything that we can't still look at something and go, oh, what? Or... I do this because I genuinely believe that we need more quality entertainment to kind of take away from the stress that we normally routinely put ourselves through uh, in beige colored cubicles and in office jobs. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're going to have that much dreary, I believe there should be a compensatory effect to relieve that. This is no magic show, folks. No, these are real traps, nails, barbs, and cheese graters. There's no rubber, there's nothing fake. Most of my show comes from home hardware. Do not try these stunts, unless you really enjoy visiting emergency rooms. There was a fire breathing incident, and that's nothing new. Virtually every fire breather has a story where they've uh, blown themselves up somehow. So I've had slips of nails, needles, this and that, and every sideshow worker sports their scars with a degree of pride. Safety and research is a huge thing. I will live and probably die by the theory of do stupid things the smart way. I asked Tarquin if he's concerned about the long-term effects these stunts could have on his body. There's going to be long-term effects, there's short-term effects, uh, but quite frankly, you can get bursitis and arthritis from sitting in a box typing on a computer. Tarquin equates his stage show to a car wreck. You, you just can't look away. We have people scream, we have people exit the building. We do have uh, what we call a lying ovation, uh, which is when someone faints during the show. But is there any artistic merit in just making people cringe? I think the cringe is worthwhile because it shows you're still here. You haven't completely punched out mentally. You can still feel empathy. You can still feel these reactions. I think the cringe is worth it for that. Well, if you're in the mood for a good cringe, Tarquin brings his Sideshow Stuntman show to the Camby in Esquimalt on April 3rd. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kong. Nailed it!